think the thing about the media industry, and I say this to my, uh, my young staff all the time, understand that you're in an industry that changes all the time. So the one thing that you can predict in media is that things will change. What you've got to become, and there's a, a guy that we used to do a lot of work for us when I was at ACP called David Chalk, and David used to say, it's all about being adaptable. And that's in the media industry, that's what you've got to be. You've got to be adaptable. If you're not adaptable, you'll get left behind. It's, um, it's important to look outside of your own industry. So before, even when I started, I mean, I came from Mindshare as a media assistant. And when I came over to the publisher side, um, what I noticed is that, you know, the, the approach was very spots and dots, right? And we're shifting away and now we need to lead uh, with integrated responses. So you need to put on your strategic hat, your creative hat, your marketing hat. Um, but in terms of that malleability and the flexibility that you need in the role, I like to kind of call it like the liquid metal approach. Um, you need to look outside of our own industry as well because innovation comes from everywhere. And I think sometimes those ideas down the road interject and you can lift some of those ideas and apply them to your thinking. I think that's probably the main thing is just that innovation piece. Um, I think that integration point and traditional versus new media is really important um, because it's all about where the eyeballs are. And there's a stat like uh, people spend 90% of their time on 15% um, on 15 different sites online. Um, and if you look at that and where people are spending their time, it's like, okay, well, how do we capture everyone? We'll capture a target audience. And it's not just through you know, a media plan we executed last year. It's like, well, how do we embrace it with new technology? So things like Snapchat, WhatsApp, all these new apps that are coming through, but also how TV is evolving and you know, coming out of the box. It's like, well, how do we take risks on something that isn't necessarily proven that might just work if we're crazy enough to do it right. Um, that's my biggest thing. Like, how, how do we push the boundaries of stuff that hasn't been done, doesn't have results, doesn't have a case study yet? Do we have enough trust to go with it? So I think a lot of media companies, and they're starting to do it, need to take a more agnostic approach. And it's not easy when you've got shareholders and expectations, but to bring down the walls in the sense of how we work together to deliver a communication solution. So let's get to the nuts and bolts of that. Innovation ideas is one element of that. But we get told, and we all know what they are, it's about insights. Tell us something about your audience that I didn't already know. Let me understand them better. Show me an idea that can help me get to my audience and package it up in a way that gives me a solution. <coughs> this thing has never really changed. And one thing that hasn't changed is that simplicity. What's got more complex is the channels available to engage with audiences and consumers. And how we work together as an industry, and again, it's interesting, next door we've got the pitch fest going on, where they're rolling through and getting feedback around that pitch. How we work together with our agency partners not just media, buying, but creative planning collectively to deliver those communication solutions. And until which time we do that, that's the thing that will slow us down as an industry. 